What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Jemiah's World and right now we're going to be waiting for this day for a while to get to this Tariq Wool and it's going to be getting given away today by EA Sports for free. Go ahead and like the video, share, subscribe. We're going to be talking about that and we're also going to be talking about the best possible duo for your free corner who's going to be Tariq Woolen. Make sure, like I said, regardless if you think this guy sucks and you guys know I'm the king of telling you that dude sucks. I'm going to have to find a way to keep him on the squad. So we're going to talk about all that and a little bit more as we go ahead and get into this. So like I said, sit back, relax, like the video, and let's go ahead and get started. The number one thing, like I said, I just put a video out uh, yesterday showing you guys how to get in contact with EA. All right. You're going to have to make sure that your, Twink your Twitch account is linked to your EA account. It's extremely simple. One of the easiest ways and the way that I actually uh, was referred to to do it is you go on Twitch. You search EA Madden NFL, and then when you scroll down below their screen, you're going to see link your Twitch account to your EA account. When you click that link, it automatically does everything for you. The only thing that you're going to have to do is make sure that you're logged into the EA account that you want the content to go to. That is the most simplistic way that we can do it. I will uh, give you guys a link uh, in the video. Probably just type it out after the video is released to let you guys see what's going on. So that way you can just click the link. I can just go over there myself on Twitch and do it. For those of you guys that are new to this type of uh, situation of getting Twitch drops, for those of you guys that I've been able to help to actually get your Twitch drops activated, you're going to have to watch the stream for two hours. Now, this is what most people do. You don't generally have to sit there and actually watch it if you're not really into it. I watch it because I want to see if anybody's running anything that's new or something that we could possibly use. Some of you guys are working, so you have it on your phone, you have it on mute, whatever. As long as you're logged into the account that you want the card on, on Twitch, you can check like every 15 minutes to make sure that it's actually tracking your progress. That's the only thing that I wanna make sure that you guys are doing. Because if you don't do that, some of you guys that missed out on Micah Parsons or you know some of the other cards that were just newly released like you know the Palomao, you, don't, you have to make sure it's tracking. Sometimes it just stops randomly and nobody knows what's going on. So it's not the smartest thing to do to just leave it up on another browser or on your phone without checking it. And you can easily check it in your inventory um, you know, by obviously just going to the inventory box on your Twitch screen and just make sure that it's tracking, all right? So for, for like Palomar, a lot of you guys didn't get them. I'm still actively using them right now with the most feared. Um, some of you guys are expecting that they're gonna drop 50 plus players for harvest. I don't really see that happening, but if they do end up doing that, it will be a good addition to have Tariq Woolen. The reason that I don't think they're gonna boost Tariq is because he's already 6'4 with a very good speed. So I don't really see that happening, but obviously weirder things have happened. All right, so that's pretty much what you're gonna have to do. I'm gonna give you guys the info. If you guys don't understand what's going on, I'll make sure that it's very simplistic, give you the link, you click it. When you click it, it's just gonna make you sign into your Twitch account, and then you have to already be logged into your EA account, or they're gonna tell you to log into your EA account. Just make sure, I know a lot of you guys have multiple accounts, just make sure that it's the account that you want the content on, and you will be all set. Again, I will, leave the, I will leave the instructions in the, uh, in the comment section just so that you have it if you're not aware of the EA Madden NFL channel. Now, as far as the combination of corners, I want to talk to you guys about this because we've been having some uh, interesting conversation about Night Train and his boost. Now remember, Night Train is 94 speed. I know he doesn't look like it on the field because he gets burnt by everyone and he also gets mossed by everyone, but he's still a pretty decent card. Now, for those of you guys that are, oh, yo, gee, his zone is 85. Don't, listen, guys, trust me when I tell you, some cards just play differently just because, you know, what an EA programmed them to play differently. He plays like he has 99 zone. He just won't pick the ball. Like, he'll swat it. You know what I'm saying? Like, he just won't pick it. Obviously, he needs pick artists to actually have a brain to be able to pick the ball, but that's a whole nother story. The reason that I want to keep the most feared theme team as long as possible is simply because of cards like this. Him and Parham have a 91 speed. Parham at 91 speed at like 6'8 is just ridiculous. So these are some of the things that I want to make sure you guys know. I've been seeing a lot of people uh, say, yo, gee, I'm selling my team. I'm doing that. Other people that sell their team off for theme teams, they do it for different reasons. All right. Like I utilize these players because they give me specific boosts. Um, the 6'6 user Terry Tate. Now, I do agree with you guys. They kind of nerfed this dude to where he doesn't really jump as much as he should as a 6'6 player, but he's still 90 speed at 6'6. 
So in most cases, when he animates, it's gonna be a pick. Now, one of the things that some of you guys were arguing was his change of direction is below 90, so he may not be able to react as well. I don't think it's that deep. I just think that the game sometimes just doesn't you know, react. Like, it's a linebacker. It's all stupid. Remember, if we go back to like, I feel like Madden 15 when Julius Peppers was still my user, I gotta go search the videos when I was running him at user. When there was no such thing as the player not jumping, they would just animate wildly if the ball was anywhere near them. Because of the fact that they're generally not supposed to jump, sometimes he just won't animate. And that's just ultimately what it is. But he's 90 speed. That part is real. He'll run down the field with anyone. All right, he won't jump in some cases with lurk artists, but he'll run down the field and look cute in the picture as he's getting moss. But these are the key pieces. And the reason that I'm showing you guys this is because if you're following other people that are telling you to get rid of players, you're probably gonna be losing games to start season three, and that's gonna be very, very bad. This is still the most dominant theme team in the game going to season three. So there is no reason to sell these players. Once you get it like this, I will let you know, trust me, especially if you remember, because like I said, I gotta be releasing part two of our ebook uh, this week. As I'm walking you guys through this, I'm letting you know how to utilize these players. This is a very, very important part of getting the plus two speed. It completely changes the way that it is. So now when we add Woolen in, right, we're gonna we're gonna probably do a scenario where Palomao, right, will be one corner, because I already played Palomao and Justin Simmons at corner now because they're bigger and they, you know, they have good zone, whatever. I like I just like them because of their height in most cases. But Palomao, right? If you were able to get them from the last uh, Twitch drop, right? Speaking of Twitch drops, which you're gonna be doing tonight, I'm gonna put this video out as early as possible so that everybody will have a head start. 6-4 with a 90 zone. Now, sometimes he'll play a corner route, sometimes he won't. Sometimes I feel like a nut, sometimes I don't. It doesn't really matter though, right? Because if they throw the ball his direction, because I have pick artists on him, he's going to intercept it, okay? If you do not have pick artists, they will swat the ball automatically. It's a very stupid program that they have in for the players. They just swat it, but I play him at corner because he has everything that's needed. 89 zone is more than enough. Uh, I mean, 89 man is more than enough with 90 zone is ridiculous. And again, his change of direction is above 90. And some of you guys are saying that that's a threshold. He does move well at corner, but when you try to juke with him, he doesn't juke. So the change in direction can be kind of, you know, iffy. His agility is 92. He's one of the corners at 6'4". So this is the prototype that we're going to be rocking, right? He's going to be one corner, okay? Justin Simmons will probably stay at safety and will remove pick artists from him, okay? But he's 6'2 with a 91 zone. Man coverage kind of low, so, you know, moving him back to just play zone at safety will be better for us. And we'll take pick artists off of him. Now, he is the interceptor as part of most feared does he intercept the ball without pick artists no i want to be very very clear with that no he does not okay he will swat it like an idiot but he's going to be moved back to safety and woolen's going to take his spot at corner so we're going to have two six foot four corners running around good luck trying to throw the ball down the field on me and then when i put in i haven't started the defensive ebook we're still doing offensive so if you're a member um you know you're probably looking at that offensive ebook and like i said i'm getting a lot of positive feedback so shout out to all of you guys that are um you know subscribed and our members that are utilizing the ebook but when we put together the formula with two six four corners you're not going to want to miss that I want to thank you guys and girls for watching. If you have any difficulty setting up your Twitch account, let me know in the comments. If you are a member, obviously you will get um, you know you get your question answered immediately. But I will put the general information out and put the links out so everyone can have a chance to get this free card tonight. I'm gonna to see you guys and girls next time. You have an unbelievable day. Be well. One love, y'all.